I will be answering your TikTok questions. <laughs> Sino po TikTok crush niyo? Oh yeah. <laughs> can't even chat. Bata pa to dahil just me. Pero hi Oliver. This is from Bella. <laughs> From Bella, from Ange. Naka girlfriend ka po ba? Girlfriend? Naka girlfriend? Uh, ready na ba tayo, Chin? Direct, yun na po, direct. Okay, so 3 to 1. Action. Hi everybody and welcome back to aking channel. Yes. So for today's video, I will be answering your TikTok questions. Ooh. Okay, so for the past two weeks, I've opened up my forum. I've opened up my forum. <laughs> Inopen ko po yung aking TikTok account to questions. And then, madami-dami naman po ang nag-submit. And then, sinagot ko naman po yung mga kaya kong sagutin. Pero... I realized and I decided that I will compile everything and sum it all up. <laughs> sum it all up. Sum it all up to this YouTube video today. So yun nga po ang ating gagawin today. Huwag na natin patagalin pa at magsimula na tayo. Hit the intro direct. Hit it! <laughs> Actually, pilim pili lang to mga questions to kasi yung iba, yung mga ibang tanong ay, <laughs> ay hindi kaaya aya Hindi kaaya aya Wala, kinumpile ko lang yung mga siguro best questions. Huwag na natin patagalin pa. Let's start our first question. I will, just, I will flash the question here. So, ayan. <laughs> Kailangan on the spot tayong sasagot ngayon. Parang Miss q &A. Okay, so for our first question, this is from Just Call Me Kel. Just Call Me Chell. Who or what is your inspiration to enter TikTok? What? Ang serious agad, di ba? Sa pagsasagot ko namang ganto, with a serious question, it deserves a serious question. Ay, again, with a serious question, it deserves a serious answer. So, in a career, for me, I started TikTok during the quarantine. So it was March. Actually, I ang anniversary ko sa TikTok ay March 20. Yeah. Yes, mark your calendar. Just <laughs> No, I started TikTok March 20 simply because wala po ako magawa nung quarantine. Nag TikTok ako kasi chinalin siya ko ng friend ko na si Tisha, chinalin siya ako to do a uh, dub video. So, ang first video ko ay kay Buknoy, kay Buknoy Glamour, na Attention shoppers! The SM supermarkets will be closing within 10 minutes. Please try your call with M. Basta mga ganon. Basta, yun yung first challenge sa akin. So, ang tanong, bakit hindi ko sinagot? <laughs> ang tanong, so sino ba ang inspiration ko to enter TikTok? If my inspiration talaga ako during that time entering TikTok of doing dubs and doing comedy, it would be Booknoy. Kasi si Booknoy, isa din siya sa naki, una kong nakita sa TikTok. Kasi diba, nung nag explore ako sa For You page, siya yung laging lumalabas. And then, 400,000 pa lang atang followers, followers niya sa TikTok noon. And look at her now. Diba? 2 million na atang followers niya ngayon. So, I would consider Book Noy as my inspiration simply because siya yung mga sinaunang nakita ko sa TikTok na gumagawa ng comedy and kinemi-kinemi. So, it will be Book Noy. So, let's proceed on to the second question. The next question is from Gabi Thoughts. Nakakapagod po ba gumawa ng video? Love your videos by the way because napapatawa mo talaga ako at pati lola ko tuwang tuwa sa iyo. Heart emoji. Thank you so much. Honestly, thank you Gabi Thoughts and to your lola. Shout out muna to Gabi Thoughts and to your lola. Hello po. Thank you so much for watching my videos. Sa wadi ka, kapungka. I appreciate it so much. Maraming salamat po. Okay, so nakakapagod po pag gumawa ng video. Okay, I, I think sinagot ko na to sa TikTok ko eh. Sinabi ko po na parang 
I think lahat naman ng video sa TikTok, kahit anong gagawin mo, if it would be dancing, singing, dubbing, or even comedy skit, walang madali. Kasi, first of all, kailangan mong mag-isip ng content na, you know, one minute lang, and you have to be heavy. Diba? Kasi, I think, kasama naman sa business model ng TikTok. <laughs> business major. No, I think, kasama sa business model ng TikTok ay yung Diba, yung shortened, ano lang talaga siya. Limited lang yung videos to one minute. So, ang mahirap doon, diba, you have to think of a content na one minute. And kung comedy yan, diba, mahirap magpatawa ng tao or magpasaya ng one minute. So, you really have to think. Ako, for me, personally, of course, mahirap ang dubbing. Kasi, it's a process. It's a journey. Kasi, it takes me to first, choose the kinds of videos. Yun nga, like I said, mahirap pumili ng videos. Pinipili ko pa kung anong klaseng video ang gagawin ko, kung sinong itadub ko. So, magbabrowse ka pa. After nung pag napili mo na, ititrim mo pa yung videos na dapat one minute or less than one minute dapat siya. But, yun nga, sa pagtitrim pa ng videos, after mo itrim yung video, para mas ma-memorize ko siya, uh, gumagawa ko ng script. Yeah. If hindi nyo pa nakikita sa... Meron akong video on how I film my TikTok videos. Gumagawa pa talaga ako ng script kasi it's hard kapag pinapalud ko siya na paulit ulit. It helps, but for me, I would still prefer na ita type ko yung script and then me memorize ko na lang from that. And actually, pag pinapakinggan ko tosti na type ko, mas madali mag memorize. So ayon, gumagawa pa ako ng script. At the same time, after gumawa ng script, nagre-rehearse pa ako. Diba, pinapractice ko pa talaga siya, parang paano ko siya i-execute. Tapos after nun, I would have to think of what to wear. Gusto ko kasi, ako, uusi kasi ako eh, talagang it's been a disorder. Disorder of mine na gusto ko maayos visually, maayos din yung tingin ng mga videos ko. Excuse me. <laughs> Sorry, direct. But anyways, yun na, pag may makeup pa. Well, actually, I enjoy makeup. It's my therapy time. It's my alone time. It's my quiet time. So, may makeup. Then, sa setup mo pa yung camera. And then, angles and everything. Plus, after nun, for me, ang pinaka nakakapagod sa lahat ng process ko ay yung editing. Kasi, as an OC person myself, <laughs> gusto ko perfect eh. Gusto ko... Hindi naman perfect perfect. Alam ko naman, 'di ba? I can't really make perfect dub videos. I would want it at least parang alam mo 'yun, sync talaga kasi bakit ka pa magda-dub kung hindi naman magsi-sync, 'di ba? For me lang. This is my opinion. Ayun, so maarte ako sa pag uh, ano pag edit gusto ko sakto, gusto ko maayos tingnan, maganda yung flow. And as much as possible, gusto kong na-justify ko ano yung dub video na gagawin ko. Kayo na po ang magsabi kung mahirap yung process na yun. But for me, syempre at the start, mahirap. Mahirap kapag gusto mo din na parang consistent ka na, di ba, na uh, gumagawa ng videos. For me, at first it was hard. Pero, at the end of the day, kahit gano nakakapagod, kahit gano ka-stressful or ka-hectic, kahit gaano nakakapagod yung paggawa ng videos and everything, kahit gano bakaba yung process na yan, it won't matter if you're enjoying what you're doing. Ako, I've learned to enjoy. Actually, at the start pa lang, ini-enjoy ko na siya. Because personally, I've always had a passion when it comes to acting and directing, filming, and the production and everything. To think na nagagawa ko yung lahat in one video, di ba? Ako nagde-direct, ako nagpo-produce, ako yung nag-edit, ako yung nag ng makeup and everything, so visual and everything, even the sounds and everything, di ba? Lahat ng mga what I'm passionate about and what makes me happy, nagagawa ko siya in one video and in this platform. From there pa lang, nai-enjoy ko na siya. So I think the most important thing is that you enjoy nga what you're doing. And you're passionate. If you're passionate, matutuwa ka na, mag enjoy ka na sa ginagawa mo. Because if you're enjoying what you're doing, your audience, your customers, <laughs> your customers, no, your audience will enjoy it as well. And, 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 don't you ever, ever compare yourself to other content creators out there. Yun ang biggest learning ko. One of the biggest learnings. Don't ever compare yourself. That could drag you down in making content videos. Just be unique, be who you are, and enjoy what you're doing. Pag uh, kinocompare mo na yung sarili mo sa iba, mapapaisip ka, 
ay bakit parang wale ako bakit parang hindi na ako nakakapag di ba nakakapasaya ng mga audience or what don't compare yourself also wah nami ko na tips second question palang <laughs> but second tip ko the views the followers the likes it shouldn't matter why because you can't force anyone to watch to comment or to like your videos. We all have our own preferences. Lahat tayo may sarili-sarili tayong kagustuhan sa buhay. And so with the content that you're making, don't don't even pressure yourself too much. Oh, everyone should enjoy this. Sana mag-viral sana ganito ganyan magkaroon ng views or likes itong video ko. Don't think about that. Just do your thing because it will follow. Darating din yung mga followers, yung mga views mo if talagang para sa you and kung talagang di ba pinagsisikapan mo talaga think more about yourself on how you're gonna make yourself enjoy into doing the videos or the content that you're doing <laughs> my god si rugut ko tong tanong na to in like 10 minutes we're just in our second question let us now move on to our third question okay third question from Javin May balak ka bang pumasok bilang isang artista soon? Heart emoji. <laughs> okay, so sinagot ko na to. But yes, um, into doing TikTok, like what I said, I've always been passionate about film, directing, the production and everything, and even acting. Personally, I would want, I would want to become an actor one day if for me talaga. Pero at the same time, Diba, hindi ko na pinipilit yung sarili ko if it's not meant for me. But, I'm already thankful and I'm grateful na I have the platform, TikTok and YouTube, to showcase what I could bring to my audience. What I could bring! No, to showcase what I can do when it comes to acting. It is a dream of mine, but at the same time, I'm just working on it right now. We will see na lang if we'll get there soon or someday. And naniniwala naman ako na good things come at the right time, at the right place, at the right second, at the right minute. Huh? That's all. <laughs> well, masabi. So let's go to our next question. From Awek. Awek? Awek. When did you start acting and why do you choose TikTok to show your talent? Sana po mapansin, I'm a big fan. Yes, so first, thank you so much, Awech, for your support. Yes. Okay, so when did I start acting? Well, hindi po ako actor. Pero, nag act na ako sa for class. Is that considered acting? Oh, acting pa rin for projects, for requirements in school. Ang dami ko na din pinotrain na role nung high school. Kasi sa high school, madami kami mga project and requirements na nag require ng filming, theater, and everything. Ang mga na-portray ko ng character Lady Macbeth, Padre Damaso, Sisa. <laughs> Di ba yung mga requirements sa school? So, I would consider it as acting. Pero yung acting-acting na talagang actor, celebrity, wala po akong experience dyan. Why did you choose TikTok to show your talent? Um, hindi ko po pinilit na pumasok sa TikTok. Nagkataon lang talaga na ito yung platform na nalaan sa akin ng Diyos na ma-showcase yung passion ko when it comes to acting and everything. So, next question tayo, Jen. This is from Bella. What? <laughs> from Bella? Bella Porch. What can you say to your bashers or to the people who doesn't like your video? Nani? Anyway. <laughs> Bashers, okay, okay. Mag-serious sa tayo dito. Actually, sa lahat naman ng social media platforms, if you're gonna enter that social media platform, hindi mo may iwasan ng hater. It doesn't necessarily have to be a stranger. Meron talagang, I think, pagpapasok ko talaga ng any social media platform, magkakaroon, magkakaroon ka ng bashers. Sa ayot mo, sa gusto mo man hindi. Tama ba yun? Whether you like it or not, yon in English. <laughs> Entering TikTok, uh, sabi ko, okay, I think along the way, along the way, huh? <laughs> along, along the run, along the, <laughs> no, along the way, magkakaroon ng mga hate comments dyan. So far, wala pa naman ako sobrang like painful or sobrang hurtful message na nababasa. And yes, 
I do read comments. Some people say it's um, toxic, it's not healthy and this and that, but I, I just read. I have a thick skin, I believe. Growing up as an LGBT, I have a thick skin. Period. Chance. No, but anyways, yun nga, I think coming into TikTok and being prepared na there's a possibility of people bashing you or saying bad things about you, hindi ako ganun naapektuhan. Meron akong hate comments, but for me, how do I respond to them? One word. Dead ma. Yun lang yung thing. <laughs> Tip ko na din yung for the others. Pag may magbabash sa inyo, you have to accept the reality. Part yun talaga. It would take courage, strength, and determination. <laughs> Dead man lang, girl. Dead ma. We are all entitled to our opinions. Lahat tayo may sarili-sariling opinion, may sarili-sariling comment, may sarili-sariling perspective sa buhay. Like what I said then, you cannot please everyone with your videos. So talagang hindi lahat yan magugustuhan yung content mo, hindi lahat yan matutuwa sa video mo. Hayaan mo na lang sila. Just let them do their thing. It's not your loss. It, it's not healthy if naapektuhan ka pa. So yun ang masasabi ko sa mga bashers ko. Pero, ang masasabi ko sa mga bashers ko, thank you so much. Kasi kung hindi kayo nagbabash, Diba? Hindi kayo, hindi kayo magbubuyo ng video, videos ko. So at least, diba? While you're bashing, napapadun nyo naman yung videos ko. So, <laughs> Okay, next question. From Simon Michael. Sino po TikTok crush nyo? Oh, yeah. <laughs> TikTok crush ko daw, dive! Ayun, wala pa naman akong crush-crush talaga locally. Pero internationally, daming options. Options, options, options! <laughs> To name them, Pierre Bu. It's Pierre Bu yung aka yung ano niya. Ay, meron ako local. Uh. Okay, so I mentioned ko na si Oliver Solano. Uh. Okay, anyway. Chai! Na attract ako talaga. And talagang may dating tung batang nito. And bata pa to dahi, just me. Pero, hi, Oliver. Chai! Masaya ako, pinalo niya ako sa ano, TikTok. He followed me back. <laughs> Anyways, meron pang isa eh. Ito, si Ryan Prevedel. Oh, ganda ng pangalan. Si Ryan Prevedel, ang guwapo po. My gosh! Ang aking kaluluwa. Please take it. Just, you know. Just me. Mga TikTok talaga. Ang daming ano. <laughs> Anyway, so let's move on to our next question. So, ayan ha, sinagot ko na local and international. Anyways, next question tayo, Jen. From at xramos underscore 30. Ano po fave movie nyo? Ay! Okay, hindi ko pa to napapaisip-isip masyado. Depende, depende sa anong genre and anong kind and preference and category. <laughs> <laughs> Basta for me, okay, Filipino. Let's go to Filipino. Pag Filipino kasi more on ano ako eh, rom-com, comedy of course, Vice Ganda movies. Okay, isa, isa sabihin ko na favorite kong Vice Ganda movie ever sa lahat ang naging movie niya ay Girl Boy Bakla Tomboy. Okay, isa sabihin ko na po ang best romantic comedy movie na napanood ko ever. For me ah, per friends ko to, I'm entitled to my opinion. Just would be Hashtag walang forever. Staring Janelle Mercado and Jericho Rosales. Mm, kung hindi, pa yun, hindi nyo pa yun napapanood, just me. What else? Katniel. For me, favorite ko pa rin Barcelona eh. What else? Local na yun. I think yun na yun. Pwede na yun ah. Tatlo, tatlo na yun na recommend ko. Just. But international, current na napanood ko ngayon ha. Talagang apakahave. Ah, ay itong movie na required namin panoorin for Philo class ay The Commuter. My gosh! My gosh! <laughs> I swear, I swear to God, never pa ako na-amaze sa plot, sa action, sa story, sa act. <clears throat> Ang dami ko nang sinabi. Kasi ako, okay, aminin ko po, ako po yung tipong nakakatulog sa movie. Kasi mabilis po akong mapagod. Yung mata ko po, Sensitive yan. Mabilis akong mapagod. So, mabilis akong maantok. It would really require great scenes, impactful scenes from the director, from the actors, from the film itself, 
for me to stay alive and stay awake. No, and <laughs> for me, ang talagang mga magagandang movies kapag nagigising ako all throughout. And sinasabi ko sa inyo, The Commuter, sa Netflix meron yan. Oh my gosh! Hindi pa rin ako move on because two days ago ko lang siya napanood. <laughs> okay, The Commuter, panoorin niyo po yan. Okay, so next question na tayo dyan. Next question tayo dyan. This is from Hazel Brazil. Ano po pinaka nagustuhan yung ginayang video? Oh, I think ang nais nice yung tanong ay ano ba yung pinaka favorite na nadab ko? What? Well, mga favorites ko talaga. Actually, kasi ako mahilig ako magmemorize. Ever since grade school, pumapasa talaga ako pag dumme memorize ako. As a person who likes memorizing, I don't know. Pa Pero bet na bet ko yung mga ano talaga. Mahaba at parang nag-rap na la nag rap na dub videos. Kaysa yung mga slow pace, mas prefer ko pa yung madaming sinasabi tapos parang nag rap ka. So ang mga favorite ko would be, it takes a man in a woman, yung kay Andy. Yung gusto ko na patulog, okay? Alam yung ba ko yung hours na ako gising? Freaking 64 hours, ilan litro na kape, ilan litro na ng soft drinks, ilan litro na ng yosin dumadali sa dugo ko, ganon! Diba? Parang nag -rap. Tapos isa sa mga fave ko ding The Revenger Squad. Yung silang dalawa ni Juliana Paris Gove si Govia. Yung And I believe that Article 3 Bill of Rights Section 4 of the 1987 Revised Constitution of the Republic of the Philippines. The, ano yun? Republic Constitution of the Philippines. Ah! <laughs> ah! <laughs> <laughs> Basta yon yung ganung line niya, niya yon Yun yung mga honorable mention. <laughs> honorable mention! Okay, so let's proceed on to our next question. At tapatapos na tayo. Ang dami ko na pala mong nasagot ha. Kota na. Chance! From Chloe Nicole. Panotis po, ano po yung favorite song niyo? So, hi Chloe Nicole! Thank you so much for your question. So, favorite song ko, in general, actually I am an Ariana Grande stan uh, ever since Put Your Hearts Up ni Ariana until her recent song Ano ba recent song niya? Rain On Me! <laughs> Rain On Me! Yes, I've been a fan of Ariana. So, lahat ng Ariana songs gusto ko. Actually, alas lahat alam ko. Ata! <laughs> Philly! No, basta I'm an Ariana Grande stan so any Ariana Grande song. Currently, ano may favorite ko. Ay, favorite ko ngayon ay Midnight Sky by Miley Cyrus. The midnight sky is the road I'm taking. Head high up in the clouds. <coughs> oh, wag yun. Pag yun na copyright pa, hindi ko na talaga alam. And of course, Rain On Me. Rain On Me! Oh, diba? Yun lang ang memories ko. Okay, so next question. From Angge. Naka girlfriend kapuba. Girlfriend? Naka girlfriend? Hmm? Me? You're asking me? <laughs> no, but Angge, thank you so much for your question. Naka girlfriend na ba ako? Simple answer no. <laughs> Pero, of course, nung bata ako, habang ako'y nasa kloseta, habang ako'y nasa Narnia. <laughs> Ang term po namin ng mga bakla nun ay, pag nasa kloseta ka, Narnia. So, habang ako'y nasa Narnia, and nag-explore, of course, nagkakrush ako sa mga babae. Actually, ngayon naman, nagagandahan pa rin ako sa mga babae, of course. Siyempre, para kabuging ko. <laughs> and, uh, nagkakrush na ako noon. So, yeah. May mention ko pa ba? Hindi, hindi ko naman nag hindi ko naman naging girlfriend din. Eh. So, wag na girl. Chance. Dead man na. Chance. Pero no po, never pa po. Anyways, next question. Sorry direct na pahaba po. So, last question. Last question of the day from Dionilo Pepito 966. Ano gusto mo sa lalaki? Smile emoji. Oh yeah. Well, this is the last question because um, you know my um, my DMs are open. Contact me. <laughs> no, uh, <laughs> no, but I've been thinking. Chats. No, ako personally, ano mong gusto ko sa lalaki? Honestly, just be yourself. Treat me 
yun. <laughs> no, gusto ko yung mga authentic and real. Yun lang talaga. Like, ayoko yung kapag magkasama kami yung parang pilit yung attitude, pilit na nagpapatawa, pilit na. Gusto ko natural. Parang aking natural beauty today. <laughs> Show me who you are. Um, express to me how good and how passionate you are to be in a relationship. You know it? Just... No, other than that, kasi if authentic ka, if real ka, di ba? Lalabas yung pagka-honest mo, yung honesty. Di ba? Eh, di ba nga, pag sa relasyon, importante yung trust. Big word. Trust. Ah, big bird. <laughs> Ganon, big word ang trust. So, that's one of the most crucial and integral trait and principle. <laughs> ano yung sabi ko na kailangan sa relationship? So, authentic, honest, trustworthy, and last, may takot sa Diyos. Period! But anyway, so that has been a journey. Ang dami ko pong sinagot, ang dami ko nang sinabi, ang dami ko nang mga kineming sinabi pa. But thank you so much sa lahat ng mga nag-submit. Nag-submit? Requirement! Sa lahat ng mga nag-send ng questions sa TikTok. So thank you so much guys for joining me today. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. And follow me on my social media accounts. It will be linked down below. And if may mga tanong pa kayo, of course, I can make a part 2, part 3, part 4. Oh, gagawin ko yan. So, comment lang kayo ng mga tanong if meron pa kayo. So, that's it guys. Thank you guys for joining me. See you on my next one. Bye! Ems! <laughs>